Hi everyone, and welcome to a new Make It Monday. It's Nicole Hetty here, and today I wanted to share a little bit um, about sketches. A lot of us use them, um, maybe in different ways, but I thought I would just show you a little bit about my process today, um, some unique ways that I come up with my sketches, and um, how I, how you can interpret them in unique ways as well. It's easy to take um, somebody else's car design and turn it into a sketch, but I wanted to show you how you can use some other things around you to create sketches. Today I took a piece of graphic design uh, that I found online, and I interpret that into this sketch right here, which shows um, some paper being folded back um, in place of the way they had the colors merging um, and opening on the graphic design piece. So you can do this, you know, and use the sketches to create little unique aspects to your projects. Um, other things that you can use for inspiration to create sketches are things like um, advertising. Um, here I've used an, a poster advertising an event. Um, here I was able to use um, some merchandising from a catalog uh, to inspire a sketch. I also use um, packaging. Um, there's so many clever things out there now when you're shopping. You can use small bits and pieces of scrapbook layouts to pull ideas um, for unique sketches. And of course there's the everyday objects around you like here, pot holder um, inspired this sketch. So there's a lot to work with. I thought it would be neat to interpret this um, by folding back the edges of paper on the top layer of our card to expose something really colorful and fun. So I thought I would just show you um, exactly how I would go about interpreting this sketch and turning it into an actual project. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start with two pieces of pattern paper. I cut to four and a quarter by five and a half. These are from the Simply Chartreuse pattern pack. There's a bitty dot and a stripes. And as you can see in the sketch, um, you the intent is to fold over um, two flaps to expose something underneath here. And I thought it would be interesting if these fold overs right there actually exposed an additional pattern. So what I'm going to do is essentially create a double sided pattern paper. I'm going to do this by um, adhering these two pieces together just with regular tape adhesive. And I'm literally just going to adhere them back to back like this. And so what you end up with is stripes on one side and polka dots on the other. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use a template that I made. I kind of um, fiddled around with, bit with exactly how I wanted the folds on here. I've provided this on my blog for you to download. And what I'm going to do is I, I'm going to make sure that this is striped side up. I'm going to put the template on top of this piece. Line it up. The template's four and a quarter by five and a half, so it's a perfect fit. I'm just going to take a bone folder and use the guides of the template to score my two fold lines. Then I'm going to take a craft knife and a ruler and I'm going to go pretty much in the middle of those two score lines. You can be at a slight angle, you can go straight across. I'm almost straight, but not quite. And I'm going to cut across here, like so. Might take a couple strokes since it's a bit thick. After you get that cutting done, you can go ahead and fold back on those score lines. And it exposes those pretty polka dots. I'm going to go ahead and use a bone folder to fold this over. And 
there you have the um, folded over flaps that are kind of demonstrated in the sketch. So now what I'm going to do is create a pretty um, background piece to be exposed behind the opening. Now I'm using crisp white um, cardstock to create the under layer. And just to save myself some work, I used that same template from earlier and used a pencil to draw what exactly would be exposed. And then all you have to worry about is filling in this little triangle rather than the whole sheet. It saves a bit of time and effort and makes the project a little bit faster. I've got, I'm um, using Friends Till the End today. And I'm using the Palette Noir Ink because I am going to be using Copic markers. And I'm just going to fill in the little triangle area that I outlined with pencil. I'm going to add a couple of these flowers. And a little bit of one of the leaves. Just a touch here and add one last flower. Okay, so as you can see, I kind of have everything covered in my triangle there. Now I'm going to take some Copics. I'm using BG72 and YG95 and BG18. I'm going to use BG18 for the majority of the large daisies. And I'm not going to do any fancy shading or anything. I'm just going to add a little color to the petals. And remember, you only have to do what's exposed by within the boundaries of that um, triangle. So you definitely do not need to color more than you have to. Okay, now I'm going to go up here and do this one. For the leaves, I'm going to add a little bit of the green, the YG95. And I'm going to add the BG72 to the middle of the flowers. So I have all of that coloring done, and actually as I'm looking at this, I think I'm going to add a little bit of um, my T1. Back here with my 
um, T1 marker and I'm just going to add a bit of an outline around the edges of the flowers and again I'm only worrying about what's in that little triangle that I marked off there's no need to put all that effort into coloring and shading things that aren't going to show in the end okay. so we have that and as you can see this is going to go over that just like so and I actually see I didn't quite color enough up there okay so what I'm going to do now is adhere this on top of the pattern I just created with the flowers like this and I'm also going to adhere down the tabs that we created with the pattern paper. Now if you look back at the sketch here um, it shows that the sentiment goes right there. So I just decided to put together some of the sentiments that are in um, Friends Till the End on separate little strips of paper. These are about a half an inch. I've got two smaller phrases that I'm going to stamp in ripe avocado. The first of which is you're true and the second one is genuine and lastly here I'm going to go in with ocean ties and I'm going to stamp the word friend Now I'm going to go back in with scissors here and I'm just going to by hand trim these strips they don't have to be straight And then I've got my three portions of the phrase. Now, referring back to the um, Make It Monday video did on using colors in the rule of three, I chose to make sure that this sentiment was going to be three lines long so that I'm following along with that rule of three. Got some phone tape here, and I'm going to position this sentiment according to the sketch. Like I showed a minute ago, the, the sentiment in the sketch I got from this graphic here has a sentiment right over here. So I've got my three pieces, and I'm going to start with. You're true, followed by genuine, and lastly, friend. And there's my card cover. So the last thing I'm going to do is I've got a ripe avocado card base. I'm just going to put some adhesive on that and I'm going to adhere this cover onto it. And there is my completed card that goes along with this original sketch. So now I've showed you how you can take um, something simple as this, as a, a graphic design piece, magazine ad, anything you stumble upon that's interesting, turn it into a sketch, and then it, um, reinterpret that into a really unique project. 
Hope you've learned something today, and we certainly look forward to seeing your own creations using one of these sketches.